Hey guys, what's up? Matthew Anthony here from Perfect Driver Music with Sonic Academy doing a tech tip for you. Thanks for tuning in. So check this out. Oftentimes, I get demos that are... I don't know. They need a little work. And one of the most common things is that the vocals are getting lost in the mix, meaning the frequency of the vocals is competing with or getting drowned out by, I don't know, like the percussion. Oftentimes it's the lead synth. Um, you know, you want to have sometimes your, your lead synth and your vocals going at the same time. However, they compete and they fight. So I think one of the easiest ways around this, and this is just what I've been doing with my stuff, is to sidechain the uh, vocals to the like lead synth or whatever it is that's, you know, creating the problem. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. You just, you know, you've got your synth here. This is called, this is whale synth. It's, um, I don't know. I'll just play it for you real quick. You can download whale synth for free online. It's actually like a web-based kind of synthesizer that you can actually download as a plugin as well pretty cool pretty weird anyway i threw a bunch of uh, distortion on it and i don't know a couple eqs um and whatnot just to make it sound totally original and weird i guess um anyway the very last thing you see here is a compressor which has audio affecting it from the vocal track so we're looking at this one and this one right now, the audio here, it's just me saying, I don't know, what am I saying? You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You do it in the club kind of thing, whatever. Don't really know what that means, but it's cool. And the vocals are, you know, if you look at the uh, EQ here, the vocals, uh, the spectrum, it's kind of like... It's kind of competing with the exact same frequencies as um the whale synth here check this out anyway what i noticed was when i played this thing it was like oh it sounds really busy and it sounds like there's just too many things going on at the same time so i wanted to i don't know like just make room for the vocals if you will also here on this um acid synth same thing so the vocals are actually competing with uh, that synth as well as the whale, okay? So simple, all you do is throw a compressor on each one, and then for your sidechain settings, you know, just click on sidechain, <clears throat> grab uh, vocals or select whatever you want. You know, this could be another synth too. Let's say you have two synths that are competing against one another. You know, you could sidechain anything to anything if you really want to. Um, so the main thing here when you're doing this is to keep in mind, you don't want it to sound noticeable. You don't want people to say, whoa, what happened to the synth? It's gone now. And oh, now it's back that the vocals are done. Now the, the synth is back. So you just want to cut the volume ever so slightly. Um, you know, and it's not about, you know, the settings as far as, you know, there's one settings so that's going to work on everything. Um, I, you have to use your ears with this for sure. So if it sounds like it's cutting out too much or you're making too much room, um, go ahead and, you know, pull back on the ratio a little bit or uh, maybe even change the dry wet a little bit. And that'll help you out. But let's listen really closely here. I'll I'll do an exaggerated version as well. Um, but let's listen to it without and see how that sounds. So I'm going to take this compressor off. And we're just going to play this. You don't make up for your 
sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You do it in the club. Now we'll move over here to the acid. You can really hear it with this acid one. It just seems like they're competing with one another. And it's just hard to pick out the vocals. Like your, your ear kind of wants to hear the vocals more easily. It's, it, it, the, the ear is kind of working too hard to, to hear this thing, in my opinion. So check this. You do it in the club. So that may be kind of tough to hear for you, but, uh, you know, give your ears a rest for a couple days. If you're working on a track for, you know, a, a day or two, you know, listen to it the next morning and ask yourself, okay, is this uh, difficult to hear, you know, the key elements or is it easy? You know, what do I want the audience to hear? And if it's the vocals, again, a quick, easy way to 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 get rid of it or to to make them stand out more is just to add a compressor. And then, you know, the ratio anywhere between two and four, maybe. And then you just pull your threshold down until, you know, this uh, whale synth or whatever it is quiets down just a little bit and lets the vocal come through. So let's actually watch this and uh, take a close listen as well. Church, church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. So you can see the gain reduction here, it's actually going down every single time the vocal kicks in. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You don't make up for your sins in the church. You, don't you can hear it doing its work. Uh, you've got your attack and release. Um, so sometimes I'll leave the release on a little longer. Like if it sounds like the um, synth is bouncing, if the volume is bouncing too much, or if it gets really quiet and then really loud, you can kind of smooth that out by just extending this release and making it a little longer. So definitely tweak that. Uh, definitely t tweak your threshold. Um, pull it down more if you want it to get quieter. You know, pulling down the threshold is going to give you more gain reduction. Uh, so yeah, just play around with those parameters. Ratio, threshold, and release. Your, your attack too, your attack time as well. Um, <clears throat> if you want things to sound more smooth, if it sounds like the volume's going up and down like too, uh, too quickly, just change your attack time, change your release time, and that should help smooth things out a little bit. Let's jump over here and check it out on the acid lead as well. I'm gonna turn this on. So quite a bit more gain reduction. Let's look at look at that and listen again. You do it in the club. So you can really hear the vocal shining through um, this uh, acid synth. And if not, if you take it off, they just kind of like compete with each other. So that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something from that and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.